like its relative Kuhnaosaurus, Icarosaurus was able to glide short distances using wings consisting of highly elongated ribs covered with skin, with the upper surface convex and the lower surface concave, thus creating a simple airfoil structure well suited to gliding. This method of gliding is also seen in the modern Draco, neither of which are closely related to Icarosaurus. A study in 2008 found that Kuknosaurus parachuting speed would be between 10 and 12 meters per second. They were both most likely insectivorous, judging from their pin-like teeth. Pleurosaurus is one of the few known aquatic sphenodontians. Its body was elongated for hydrodynamic streamlining, with comparatively short limbs and a powerful tail. It would have been able to swim rapidly, by undulating its slender body in a snake-like fashion. Tuatara are reptiles endemic to New Zealand. Although resembling most lizards, they are part of a distinct lineage which flourished around 200 million years ago. They are unusual in having a pronounced photoreceptive eye the third eye and are sometimes called living fossils, but recent anatomical work has shown that they have changed significantly since the Mesozoic era. Kiganides was semi-aquatic and is the only known aquatic squimate to be found in Asia and from the early Cretaceous. It lived in what was a fertile, inland swamp-like region of Japan, possibly a large floodplain which was covered with water for most of the year. Tokei Gecko is a strong climber with foot pads that can support the entire weight of the body on a vertical surface for a long period of time. Compared to other gecko species, the Tokei has a robust build, with a semi-prehensile tail a large head and muscular jaws. There is about about 950 described species of geckos in the world, they evolved probably in the lower Cretaceous and some 100 million years ago they were already well adapted for a scanso real lifestyle. Jaragua dwarf gecko is one of the world's two smallest known reptiles. Like other dwarfs pharos, little is known about its behavior. Because of its high surface area to volume ratio that results from its diminutive size, the species was thought to be susceptible to water loss, so it has been studied to understand how it survives in its semi-arid habitat. By day giant leaf-tailed gecko plasters itself to a small tree trunk and rests head down. If disturbed it will raise its tail and head, open its mouth and scream. Its eyes are extremely sensitive to light, 350 times more sensitive than the human eye, the species is able to see in colors even at night. The leaf-tailed gecko moves about its rainforest habitat at night feeding on insects. The adhesive scales under their fingers and toes and their strong curved claws enable them to move adeptly through the trees. It possess no eyelids, so they use their long tongue to wipe away any dust or debris that gets into the eye. Bobtail skink has a heavily armored body and can be found in various colors, ranging from dark brown to cream. It has a short and stumpy tail that resembles its head and may confuse predators. The tail also contains fat reserves, which are drawn upon during brumation in winter. Yellow-spotted tropical nine lizard is a secretive, terrestrial and nocturnal lizard of tropical wet and moist forests. Mostly found on the ground, it is occasionally found on tree trunks or beneath bark on standing trees. It feeds on small invertebrates. The armadillo-girdled lizard is diurnal and hides in rock cracks, its most common prey items are termites. It possesses an uncommon anti-predator adaptation, in which it takes its tail in its mouth and rolls into a ball when frightened. Members of the genus Tachydromus are extremely slender in appearance. 
Their scales are large on the head, which often also has osteoderms, small and granular on the back, and rectangular on the underside. Like all other amphibians, this burrowing species only surfaces at night or after heavy rain. It uses its autotomous tail as an escape tactic for predators. Losing a part of the tail while burrowing can plug up the hole behind it, giving it time to escape from any kind of predator that might be chasing it down. Megalania is the largest terrestrial lizard known to have existed. Judging from its size, it would have fed mostly upon medium to large sized animals. The first aboriginal settlers of Australia might have encountered them and been a factor in their extinction. As a result of their size, Komodo dragon dominate the ecosystems in which they live, its unusually large size has been attributed to island gigantism. It prefers hot and dry places and hunt and ambush wide range of prey. It has been claimed that they have a venomous bite, there are two glands in the lower jaw which secrete several toxic proteins. The biological significance of these proteins is disputed, but the glands have been shown to secrete an anticoagulant. Heel monster is the only venomous lizard native to the United States, but its sluggish nature means it represents little threat to humans. It spends 90% of their time underground in burrows or rocky shelters and maintains a surface body temperature of about 30 degrees Celsius. It is slow in sprinting ability, but has relatively high endurance and maximal aerobic capacity for a lizard. The most notable feature about Xiang Along is its bizarre oversized ribs eight on each side, which were attached to a membrane of body tissue and allowed the lizard to glide. So far this is the only known fossil gliding lizard, though there are other unrelated animals that also use their ribs to glide. Chameleons are distinguished by their feet, their very extensive, highly modified, rapidly extrudable tongues, their swaying gait, and crests or horns on their brow and snout. Most species, the larger ones in particular, also have a prehensile tail. Chameleon's eyes are independently mobile, but in aiming at a prey item, they focus forward in coordination, affording the animal stereoscopic vision. Some chameleon species are able to change their skin coloration. They change color by changing the space between the guanine crystals, which changes the wavelength of light reflected off the crystals which changes the color of the skin. Color change in chameleons has functions in camouflage, but most commonly in social signaling and in reactions to temperature and other conditions. Chameleons can see in both visible and ultraviolet light. Chameleons exposed to ultraviolet light show increased social behavior and activity levels. The oldest described chameleon lived during the Paleocene in China. They are probably far older than that, perhaps sharing a common ancestor with Ignids and Agamids more than 100 million years ago. Since fossils have been found in Africa and Eurasia, they were certainly once more widespread than they are today. The most distinct feature of the frilled neck lizard is the large ruff of skin which usually lies folded back against its head and neck. It is supported by long spines of cartilage which are connected to the jaw bones. The frilled neck lizard is ectothermic and maintains its body temperature by basking briefly to achieve an average of 2 to 3 degrees Celsius above the surrounding temperature. The thorny dragon is covered in hard, rather sharp spines that dissuade attacks by predators by making it difficult to swallow. It also has a false head on its back. Camouflage and deception may also be used to evade predation. The Philippine sailfin lizard is an excellent swimmer and has flattened toes that enable it to run across water, similar to the basilisks. Males have a larger crest on their back than the females. The males also show a violet color as they grow older. 
Draco lizards are well known for their display structures and ability to glide long distances using their wing-like, patagial membranes supported by elongated thoracic ribs to generate lift forces. They are arboreal insectivores. A herbivore, green iguana has adapted significantly with regard to locomotion and osmorgulation as a result of its diet. When frightened by a predator, green iguanas will attempt to flee, and if near a body of water, they dive into it and swim away. Marine iguanas vary in appearance between the different islands and several subspecies are recognized. They mainly live in colonies on rocky shores where they warm after visiting the relatively cold water or intertidal zone, but can also be seen in marshes, mangrove and beaches. It forages almost exclusively on red and green algae. Rhinoceros iguanas are characterized by the growth of bony prominent tubercles on their snouts which resemble horns. Mostly herbivorous, they do appear to be opportunistic carnivores as individual animals have been observed eating small lizards. Male plumed basilisks are very territorial, it is able to run short distances across water using both its feet and tail for support. It is also an excellent swimmer and can stay underwater for up to 30 minutes. Desert horn lizards are generally a gentle species, but have been known to try to push their cranial spines into the hand while held. When excited, they puff themselves up with air, making themselves look bigger. They are able to squirt blood from their eyes. <laughs>